Today we celebrate the week of the glorious resurrection. Today's liturgy is being offered for intentions of the parish. Tomorrow's 10 a.m. liturgy is also being offered for the intentions of the parish. There will be a second collection today, and the Mass begins on page 317. Oh, 
celebrating our small little vigil that we do, the big service is all on Sunday on Easter, this more intimate and more close and enduring and simple, but it has its beauty all its own. If you're here for the first time, we give you a special welcome. We're a privilege and honor to use the marionette ritual of the Catholic faith. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Father's great love for you, and send him to take on 
Father by your resurrection. Raise us up by your ascension and adorn us with the gifts of your Spirit. Now, Lord, accept our incense and fill us always with your sweet fragrance, so that our tongue may never cease in giving thanks to you for our
Peace be with you. And with your spirit. From the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark, who proclaim life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples uh, and Peter that he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us his birth like one. As I was meditating and thinking over the Lenten season up to this point, that it was something of a very unusual Lent. Not 
shape and aspect of dying to oneself. You can deny evil all you want. You can deny original sin. You can deny and try to say we are just simply animals trying to live our life uh, in a pleasing way to ourselves. But it doesn't solve anything. We can say, well, I don't need any answers for suffering. I don't need any answers for why people are disappointed, why people cry when things don't go their way, or they feel terrible inside over something that's going on. Maybe it's at work. Maybe it's in the marriage. Maybe it's in the friendship. Maybe it's in the children. But no matter if you believe or not believe, you cannot escape what I would say is the real world. And we come up with all types of solutions, all different kinds of ways of dealing with it. And every religion tries because it is so innate in our human condition. You almost have to purposely, intentionally keep trying not to believe that there might be a higher power. In this situation, mankind and womankind search for ways to find peace and happiness. You know that what they have in the news in Maine that more than one person a day obvious that people are searching for something to escape pain and so many ways that escape begins to be the process of their death. And those are the obvious ways. There are the subtle ways that sometimes something that was kind of minor Then Jesus has an infinite amount 
I will wash you so that you can see your inner beauty. That you can see that with God's grace and with his help and redemption, that what he puts inside of us and joins with us and be a part of us makes us something that he takes a delight in. He certainly takes delight in his son for polishing us up. But the Father does look at us. And if you have listened to the prayers throughout the year, the Father looks at us with the fatherly embrace, with the loving gaze, looking at us, looking for us, trying to constantly remind us that we are his sons and his daughters. The final victory is that.
lead the life that he wants to lead, and chase away the darkness of the world. Increase our hope and our courage, self, and send your healing power and grace to those who are struggling, those who are fighting cancer, those who are going through the difficult time in the marriages, those children that are feel lost and wandering. Remind them that we can be loving Father with the heavenly and grace to touch them. Let us stand and confess our faith. Page 748. We believe.
each time we celebrate these mysteries, you regret my death and resurrection and time. Assist us through their prayers and make us worthy of their reward. 
We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Remember, O Lord, the righteous fathers and teachers who have gone to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carry your gospel throughout the whole world and confirm your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers and strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the intentions of all the Christians, that God's wisdom and love can respond to what gives us the most uh, need, that God gives courage to those who are struggling and peace of mind to those who are struggling, and continue to bless the St. Joseph's Marian Church. We pray to the Lord.
Yeah. 